Wuji is a concept that represents limitlessness, the limitlessness of unity that transcends dualistic relations. Through the Wuji posture, our intention is to resolve duality. We act as a conduit between rising forces from earth and descending forces from heaven and marry these forces within. There are 18 rules of posture to help accomplish a physical structure that affords the body the least obstruction to resolving duality in Wuji. 1. The feet are flat and shoulder width apart. The weight is distributed evenly between the ball and heel of the feet. The toes are pointed forward to neutralize the yin and yang meridians. The crown, the root, and the point between the feet are in line perpendicular to the ground. If the weight is balanced correctly, we will not be leaning forward or backward. 2. Keep a slight bend in the knees. This will prevent chi from pooling at the knees and it will prevent blood from stagnating as well. The knees and toes point directly forward to neutralize the yin and yang meridians and assist in achieving the correct angle for the hips. 3. Relax the hips. Feel as though a thousand pound weight is hanging from the coccyx. It will feel as though you're sitting in a bar stool. This helps chi descend to the lower dantian. 4. Round the perineum. This consists of allowing the perineum to relax down, rather than pulling it up. This is crucial for allowing chi to descend to the lower dantian. 5. Close the anal sphincter. For women, close the vaginal wall as well. It's important to keep these areas relaxed while closed. This is gentle. Close the sphincter as we would close an eyelid. This closes the floor of the lower dantian and keeps chi from leaking out the bottom. It also assists in regulating the breath. 6. Pull in the stomach. Gently pull in the lower abdomen just above the pubic bone. Avoid creating a lot of tension or holding in the abdominal wall. This action supports the front of the lower dantian and assists in containing the chi in the lower dantian. Ming men, or do four in Chinese medicine terms, presses back slightly. 7. Relax the waist. It can help to lift the shoulders to stretch the sides of the body, then suddenly drop them to a relaxed position. The sides of the body being relaxed is essential for qi descending to the lower dantian as well. 8. Hollow the chest. Avoid thrusting the shoulders forward and closing the thoracic cavity. Relax the scapula as far down the back as possible. Expand the chest to achieve a buoyant feeling and then subtly wrap the scapula forward around the open chest. Find the sweet spot where everything relaxes and chi flows most fluidly. 9. Stretch the back. Relax and elongate the spine. Feel as though a weight is pulling down on the coccyx while pressing the crown of the head up into the sky. This will calm the heart and the lungs. 10. Relax the shoulders. They should be loose and free. Raised or tense shoulders will block chi flow and blood flow and impede our ability to emit chi from our hands. 11. Sink the elbows. The elbows are relaxed and slightly bent. This point is more relevant when the arms are raised, but it's helpful to keep it in mind all the time. 12. Open the armpits. Move the tips of the elbows ever so slightly down and out. We want to avoid looking like we're hanging on a coat rack, but we do want the armpits to be open and somewhat hollowed. This too allows chi and blood to flow freely and increases the arm's potential for channeling energy. 13. Relax the wrists. This regulates the yin and yang meridians, facilitates the flow of chi into the hands, and creates a receptivity in the palms. 14. Suspend the head. The top of the head, or the crown, presses up as if to push the sky away. 
Don't exert too much or tension will form in the neck and shoulders. 15. Tuck the chin. If the chin drops, the head will bob forward. So be mindful to move the chin directly backward. This will elongate the back of the neck. Feel the stretch all the way to the coccyx. 16. Close the eyes. Practicing with closed eyes is a more yin state than open eyes. Open eyes induces a more yang state and allows more in. Eyes balanced between open and closed are a regulated state between yin and yang. 17. Close the mouth and ears and open the nose. Gently touch the teeth and close the lips to avoid loss of chi through the mouth. Avoid clinching the teeth to avoid blocking kidney chi. A slight smile softens the jaw and draws chi into the head. 18. Touch the tongue to the upper palate. This creates a bridge linking the governing vessel and the conception vessel. We use the fire position for the tongue, which is on the roof of the mouth where the teeth meet the roof. The fire position is the default position for the tongue, unless we're deliberately using another position for particular cultivation purposes. Wuji is where we begin and where we end our practice. It's also where we rest when not engaged in any other exercise or meditation.